So this is the last day of my author tour of Tasmania. Uh, it's Friday morning and I'm just about to check out of the beautiful Rest Point Hotel and to set off for a school visit at Moona. Uh, and then I'll be flying home. It's been a fantastic week and always at the start of uh, a week when I'm away I think oh it's going to take such a long time you know there's a lot to get through and there is but the time actually flies by and it's always enjoyable every day is different uh, so the highlights for me this week I think were the really inquisitive children that I've met down here you know sometimes I was talking to groups of hundreds of children and sometimes I was talking to groups more intimate groups of say 30 or 40 children uh, but either way they were so inquisitive and interested in books and the stories that I had to tell particularly about the thylacine or the Tasmanian tiger, uh, which was great to see. Another highlight was actually working with uh, high school students at Olverston High School. And um, that was a workshop that we ran on creativity. And it was really interesting to see the students respond to um, the different exercises that I put them through. There was a lot of spontaneity in the workshops and there's a lot of challenges as well. And they all did really, really well. Perhaps the biggest highlight was uh, speaking at um, the ALEA, ALEA, the English Teachers Association Conference, and um, that was to the All Girls Schools Alliance. And there was something like, uh, you know, 200, 220 students and teachers attending at St Michael's Collegiate, we're in the theatre there, and I was chairing the panel session. The topic was um, the um, current and future state of Australian women's rights writing, publishing and editing its challenges and promises. So it was a very important topic and I shared uh, the session with Libby Gleeson, Danielle Woods, uh, Angela Meyer and Julie Coe. So some really great writers there, not just children's authors uh, but um, other writers and uh, Angela's also a publisher and commissioning editor for uh, Bonnia. So it was a really interesting discussion, really informative, really in depth and we had lots of honest answers uh, from the panellists and so that was a real high as well, a real highlight. Uh, some of the challenges I guess, and you get this anywhere you go in any school or any area, was the technology. You know, I use a multimedia PowerPoint presentation when I'm talking at school, so there's always this setup time that I require and I always make sure I get there early uh, because you can, you know, never rely on technology. Each day is different with uh, technology as well. And some of the challenges were, you know, data projectors not working or, um, you know, the video or sound not working as well, so it is quite uh, stressful getting that all set up and ready in a limited time frame and making sure you do give the best presentation possible uh, to the students who are coming along. It's not just a talk, it's not just a chat, it's just not you, you know, talking about yourself. It's actually entertaining and informing and performing to those students uh, so they remember you and they remember the stories and so they're inspired to actually read uh, books and to also write their own stories. So there's a big job for an author to do uh, on an author tour. It's not just all, um, you know, uh, beer and skittles as they say. So uh, that was Tasmania in a nutshell. I really enjoyed my time down here and I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you.